oilseed rape is the second biggest oilseed crop after soybean. It provides the healthiest oil on the market today. In 2014, about 35 million hectares were grown with this crop. To put it in perspective, this is about the size of Spain. In the past 20 years, yields have tripled and are still rising. The demand for canola seed will grow. The raw material is used as a source for healthy oil, and in addition, it is a main ingredient of biodiesel in Europe. The byproduct of the oil extraction process is a solid fraction which can be formulated as a meal and used in feed cattle. The basis of this success was a gene technology that was invented here at the Innovation Center in Ghent. That technology enabled us for the first time in history to produce hybrid canola varieties on a large scale and in an economically feasible way. The first hybrid was launched in Canada under the brand name Invigor exactly 20 years ago. And since then, many more varieties have been commercialized, have been put on the market. And at the end of last year, we had a market share of more than 50% in North America. However, there is still a problem with canola, and that's pot shattering. It's not uncommon for farmers to lose 25% or even more under adverse conditions. And that's because the pots, the fruits of canola, they tend to open up prematurely and subsequently all the nice valuable seed is just spilled on the ground. In 2012, experts have estimated that the uh, harvest loss due to pot shattering in, only in Canada amounted up to uh, over half a billion dollars. So after more than 10 years of research, a joint team between Saskatoon and Ghent finally succeeded in overcoming this problem. And together, we developed pot shatter reduction. It's a game-changing technology for canola.